Our day in Uganda today was not supposed to be anything special. In fact, it was supposed to be a simple 12-hour road trip from Bowindi back to Kimpala. But because we have the best tour guide around, his name is Ivan, he's awesome, he told us that he was going to take another route that, yes, will make this road trip even longer, but much more epic. So we figured you'd want to join us, so come along for the ride. <laughs> roundabout where we're at is basically like the last roundabout between the border between Uganda and the Congo like the border is just right there but we're not going to the Congo today maybe at some point but not today what a nice surprise so as part of this other road that we're taking today we're actually going through the Queen Elizabeth National Park and there's like an elephant right there This park is actually known for the tree climbing lions. They can partly attribute that to the fig tree because they're kind of easier to climb, but who knows, maybe we'll find some lions and some trees. We just keep driving along the road and keep finding more and more and more elephants. And this one has some massive dusks. So we just made it to a small fisherman's village on the edge of Lake Edward. The hustle and bustle is real here. Let's go see what they're up to. So this village operates 45 different fishing boats. They work with two teams, a night team, the fishermen who are going out to catch the fish. And then during the day, there's basically like a processing team that gets all the catfish and tilapia and prepare them for the market. This is super interesting to see, but we have no business being in there. We are in everyone's way, but it was, again, very interesting. Thank you so much. So on the shore, you can see, I want to say like probably over a hundred fishermen there. And then very close to it is actually a pot of hippos. So as much as it does create its own challenge and accidents do happen, it does seem like for the most of the time, they live in harmony. It's really crazy to see people and wildlife coexisting together. Like we are just at the entrance of the village and there's an elephant right there. And to be honest, when we first arrived, it was actually in somebody's backyard. Fun fact, the original name of the Queen Elizabeth Park was actually Kazinga because of the channel that connects Lake Edward and Lake George. But two years after it officially open, Queen Elizabeth came here, so they decided to change the name to commemorate her visit. Imagine if you had to change the name of everything every time somebody just comes and check it out. Huh. Now it could be a Park National uh, the Manny's. Well, that was pretty fun, but now we are back on the main road and I think it's time for Rolex. So we are stopping here in Kisese because it's Rolex time. If there's one thing you need to eat here in Uganda as a street food, it's a Rolex.
So what is a Rolex apart from being the most popular street food here in Uganda? Well, it's basically a Spanish omelet with onions, tomatoes and pepper in eggs rolled up into a chapati and it tastes really, really nice. So you can actually do it two different ways. This is what they consider the normal way. So everything is cooked within it. And then the raw way is that your eggs are cooked, but then inside you have raw tomato and onion. So we're gonna try both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so now we're trying like the raw one. And I don't know which one I prefer. I thought I was gonna prefer the raw one better, but I think I prefer the Cooked one. They're both really good. Oh, I think equal for me. Right. Ivan, which one do you prefer, raw or cooked? Ah, uh, most of the times I take the raw one. Yeah. Yeah, the raw onions. Are good choice. Sacrifice. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a minute and appreciate the beauties of the Ugandan landscape. Like this place is beautiful. Look how green it is. So the bananas were good, but that was not enough for supper. So uh, they serve barbecue here, which is my favorite. We're gonna go see what they have. really cool because from the street like you just see like one building with all the smoke coming out but once you walk into it there's just so many people like cooking all kinds of meat and plantain the goat the chicken and everything straight on the charcoal it smells so good it's a bit hot but it smells delicious I'm hungry and it smells so good I love when I see that nothing goes to waste most of these people right now are cooking on car wheels no need for a fancy barbecue next time we have a house in a few years we should do that why not thank you <laughs> so we've got some grilled chicken we've got some goat and we've got some plantain right there it's like the perfect meal this one has chili and onion in it so and the goat very nice too And just like that, we made it back to Kampala. And by just like that, I mean 14 and a half hours later. But, uh, but we're here. Um, now, we just showed up our hotel. We're gonna show you around just real quick, just, just so you can see. Thank you for making this road trip fun. Oh my Much God. Much appreciated. <laughs> see you in the morning. See you. <laughs> Got you. Cheers. Quick little room tour. We are at Gazelle Hospitality bathroom in here good hot water good shower pressure it's all you need and then we actually have a decent sized room to be honest and the bed is pretty comfy so we stayed here night one and now our last night before obviously we went into Buindi got a little seating area a little coffee place fantastic watching this video at this point you must really enjoy the content so if you want to get extra videos if you want to get early releases on our videos and early updates of what we're doing and what we're about to do yeah. well consider joining our membership you can click the little join button there and you'll get all of this for as low as 99 cents like it's as cheap as it can be and it supports okay. us and and we love you in advance <laughs> otherwise road trip that was fun it was a great road trip Great food too. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Is what it's been 14 and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but really I've been time. truly made it fun, and it was truly worth it to like take the other way around. So like we saw new so, things, and I can't believe that we went on a mini game drive this morning too. So that's yeah, super that's cool. One thing I was gonna kind of plug about Ivan is 
he made both trips because let's be honest it could be a boring trip if you mm. made it that way but he made both the journeys really really great even the yeah. fact of taking a second route the second yeah. time like just he's fantastic like he really has a passion and he's really yeah. like happy to show you around yeah. and show you the culture and the food and everything about uganda so i it's really perfect. really like that about him he's one of the best tour guys we've ever had so yeah. if you want to experience this make sure to check out on Geary expeditions we're gonna put their link down below they organize everything and make sure to ask them for ivan yeah <laughs> anyway we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow we're exploring Kampala and we are very tired so until next time see you guys <laughs> in the next one